I thank the organizer for for the invitation to, to speak at this conference. And it's an honor to to give a talk at this conference for Bazakis uh, birthday. And uh, the subject of the talk will be uh, uh, a result uh, which is in common with uh, Kashiwara and Shapira and uh, about some easy application of these results. So the, the main uh, topics in the talks is uh, the notion of micro support, so which will make the link between uh, sheaves and manifold on uh, symplectic uh, geometry of the cotangent bundle. So it was uh, introduced by uh, Kashua and Shapira in the, <coughs> in the 80s. And uh, well, before, well, I will recall the, the definition, but before maybe I explain very quickly uh, what is the idea. So we consider a real manifold M. So in the talk, uh, all manifolds will be real. And say, well, first consider an example. We consider some manifold M. And we consider the constant sheaf on M. And the micro support uh, considers uh, the following questions. So let's take some point X in, in M and some neighborhood U of, uh, of, this, of this point. And we, we restrict the cohomology of F to some smaller uh, open subset. Okay, and uh, what we see is that if we consider uh, the cohomology of uh, our sheaf on U, when we do the first restriction here, the cohomology change. Uh, no, it's opposite. The cohomology, cohomology here does not change. We see that there is uh, no difference in topology between this arc and this one, and we do when we make the restriction in the Second case, here there is a difference in the cohomology. Okay, so this is the idea. And the definition so Kashua and Shapira in 82 is the following uh, you consider a sheaf or rather an object in the DRF category of sheaves uh, on M. So K here is some coefficient ring. And uh, we'll define the uh, micro support. So before it was, uh, at the beginning, it was called the singular support of, of F. So it is a subset of the cotangent bundle. And it is defined uh, as follows it is a closure of the set of, say, interesting directions. So interesting means that we have a change in the cohomology. So the set of x psi such that there exists a test function psi with a differential at the point x is psi, and there exists some um, integer i such that the cohomology of f on some small balls is not isomorphic to the cohomology of F on the same ball, but cut by uh, the level set of psi. So here we take the limit over the neighborhood of X. So this is Xi is in the micro support if this is not an isomorphism. Or in other words, if we make the difference between these two uh, uh, cohomologies. This means that the cohomology with support in the closed set defined by psi equal psi psi of x at the point x is non-zero. Thank you. So the definition is uh, uh, well, very simple, in fact. And um, so by definition. The micro support is closed and conic. 
and uh, well, I just gave I just give one example. Uh, so suppose u in M is an open set with uh, smooth boundary. Then the micro support uh, of the constant sheaf on u is, well, let's just draw this picture. It is the outer conormal bundle of the boundary of u. And the micro support of the constant sheaf on the closure of u is the opposite. So closed conic is more uh, is obvious on the definition. On what is not obvious at all, and it is a, a deep theorem, in fact, uh, about the micro support. So uh, and Shapira proved that with this very general definition, this micro support is always quasi-tropic. So I will come back soon uh, on this theorem and we'll, I will say wha what it means. And, um, so there, there is a link between micro support and uh, symplectic geometry, but their motivation uh, was, I, I, don't, I think, was not uh, to study symplectic geometry of constant model, but rather to study uh, D modules. Um, uh, so for example, uh, uh, so uh, Shapira mentioned the involutivity theorem for D modules. And, um, so this is related with this theorem because they, you know, Keshua and Shapira also computed the micro support of the space of solution of the complex of solution of a D module. So here X is a complex manifold. And we consider some uh, coherent D module. M on X, so we can define its sheaves of holomorphic solution. And they prove that the micro support of this sheave of solution is equal to the characteristic variety of the D module. So in this way, the, the theorem here gives uh, another proof of the involutivity theorem of the, micro, uh, of the um, characteristic variety. So we were already proved uh, by uh, Sato Kashiwa Shapira. Mm -hmm. um, no? Uh, excuse me, can I? Excuse me. Sato Kawai Kashiwa. With also a uh, purely algebraic proof uh, by Gable. But this gives a completely different proof, uh, which has a meaning in the real setting. Okay. Um, but at the beginning, there was no link uh, with uh, with global properties of uh, symplectic geometry. And for for this, we have to to wait. Well, mm, two, two two different results. One by Nedler in, on Zaslow in uh, 2006. Well, I will not really explain uh, what he means. We, we consider a compact manifold M, and they prove that um, the derived category of constructible sheaves on M is equivalent to the derived Fukaya category of the cotangent bundle. And the, the correspondence is, uh, here we consider the con uh, constant sheave on some open set. Uh, so say it's micro support. Uh, well, if I draw a picture in dimension one. Uh, so if u is some uh, interval in dimension one, the so micro support uh, will be uh, like this. So it is the outer normal bundle at the, at the end. And the corresponding uh, Lagrangian here is given by the graph on some 
uh, function on u, which goes to infinity on the boundary. So the graph of such a function is uh, a smooth approximation of this uh, micro support. Um, okay, and there was another result uh, which made a link between uh, uh, sheaves on uh, symplectic geometry. So in 2008, uh, Tamarkin um <coughs> proves the, the following uh, theorem. Consider two subsets AB uh, in the cotangent bundle. And consider, well, a priori, these are not uh, conic subsets, so they are not certainly not micro support. So you had one variable um, to make everything conic. So we consider, uh, say, f on m times r with a row of micro support containing a. So this map row here, so it goes from the cotangent bundle of m times r to the cotangent bundle of m. It's a map x, t, psi, to So t and tau are, are the variable in t star r. And we forget the variable t and suppress the conicity. Uh, so this is defined for positive tau. So it assumes you have some f here with this uh, inclusion property. On a similar one, g with rho of microsupport of g containing b. So it proves that if we have some non-vanishing homomorphism, so say the morphism from f to g, but we have maybe to translate g vertically, Uh, so if we have some non-vanishing like this, then A and B are non-displaceable. So here, uh, so TC, TC of XT is a vertical translation. And non-displaceable means that we, we cannot find uh, uh, either Miltonian isotopy phi T, such that A and phi T or B are disjoint. And he applies this uh, then um, to, to prove that the Clifford torus uh, in uh, CPN is uh, non dispersible for itself and non dispersible from the diagonal, the result of, of this kind. So, to, to, to understand Nedler's last law, we have to, to, to know the Fokker category, but to, to understand. Uh, the marking result it is enough to know uh, the micro support. So we, uh, we try to, to, to understand uh, his result on, so say, building on this idea, we, uh, we, we stated a, a result which says that, in some sense, a Hamiltonian isotopy of a cotangent bundle acts uh, on the category of sheaves. And I explain this. So now consider some Hamiltonian isotopy of a cotangent bundle, but I assume that it is homogeneous. And for this, I remove the zero section. So this, this dot here means that uh, I remove so zero section. So phi, uh, uh, phi t is of course uh, symplectic. And uh, r plus homogeneous. So by this I mean that phi t of x lambda xi is lambda acting of phi t of x i. So positive lambda. Okay, so in, in this situation. We prove the, the following. So it's theorem. Uh, some years ago. So there, there exists a unique sheaf K phi drive category of sheaves on M 
n squared time, times i, which is uh, locally bounded, I mean bounded on uh, each compact set, uh, such that, well, uh, at time zero, so k phi restricted to uh, zero, um, uh, n squared times zero, is a constant shift on the diagonal. And uh, its micro support is equal to the graph, so mu sup of k phi is equal to the graph of lambda uh, of phi. So by, by this graph, I mean a, sub a conic Lagrangian subset of uh, m squared times i. Well, of course, the natural, so the obvious graph is defined d star m square times i, but with no uh, fiber variable in here. And there is a unique conic Lagrangian subset above this uh, gamma phi. And uh, this is the micro support of our shift. So, uh, so in particular, If I consider the, the composition with this shift k phi at times t, it will give an equivalence between uh, the derived category on, on itself. So um, for all t, so the composition uh, f maps to uh, k phi t composed with f. So this is um, the direct image by the second projection of the tensor product of k phi t on the inverse image by the first projection. So p1, p2 go from m squared to m. And of course, k phi t is a restriction I at time t. So in particular, uh, this, this uh, functor is an equivalent. And it, it respects the micro-support. I mean, the micro-support of the image is the image by uh, the Hamiltonian isotopy of the micro-support of F. Maybe one picture to, to give the geometric meaning of, of this. Uh, so the simplest example is to, to consider the, the, the geodesic flow. That we, uh, well, uh, homogeneous geodesic flow, which means phi t of x psi. So we, we are here, we are on R, uh, Rn. And we have the geodesic flow on the cotangent model, which is uh, x psi is mapped to x uh, translated in the direction given by psi, and psi uh, is stable. And uh, you can easily uh, compute uh, this example and find that our uh, kernel uh, k phi t, phi t is a constant shift on some neighborhood uh, of the diagonal with a shift. So ut here is a set of x, y with uh, distance of x on y less than t. So it's uh, an open set. And uh, if we want to understand the, the composition, so for example, take a Lagrangian uh, manifold given by the interior normal bundle of some, some uh, parabola. Uh, 
So say P is this closed subset, and we consider the constant shift on P. So of course, if we apply the geodesic flow, so we, at, uh, at the beginning, we obtain the normal bundle of some uh, smaller uh, curve. But sometimes, we, uh, at some point, we will get uh, a swallowtail uh, singularity. And uh, the shifts that we define here, so KFT composed with F, will be, or say we start here with a constant shift in degree zero. So in the upper part, we still have the constant shift in degree zero. But here in this small triangle, it is shifted by, uh, by one. And the, the set where it is defined is a locally closed set. So in the upper part, it is closed. And here it is uh, locally closed. So the micro support is given like this. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So here n is 2. So in general, uh, in general, uh, our, our uh, sheaf k phi is of as follow. So assume we have the time here horizontally, particularly we have r to n. Uh, so what we find? is, uh, excuse me, uh, in this case, KFE is very simple. It is the inverse image of some sheaf of on, uh, on Rn itself. If I make the difference between x and y, so this my KFE is the inverse image of something. On this L phi is a constant sheaf on some cone, which is open on the right. <coughs> Shifted by uh, by n, on here it is a constant shift in degree zero on a closed subset, and the uh, so micro support is uh, like this. So at the point here, of course, there is a singularity is in front, but the micro support is still uh, smooth. So here's a rough. Uh, a picture of, of uh, what, what happens. Okay. Well, we, we, we gave you an application of the CRM uh, 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 above by uh, recovering uh, Arnold conjecture uh, on the intersection of, uh, uh, of the zero section of some uh, contortion bundle of compact manifold uh, by uh, its deformation by any uh, Hamilton isotopy. So, the, so there is a, a bound, a low bound for the. Uh, number of intersection points, which is given by the sum of the Betty numbers. And th this can be uh, recovered by uh, using this on, the, on, of course, the many results on, on the micro support. But uh, here I wanted to do, to give uh, another example of uh, application, which I like, which is uh, to make the link between. Uh, um, a deep result in, in symplectic geometry, well, in, in the beginning of symplectic geometry, so it's a result at of the end of 70s or beginning of the 80s. It's Gomov uh, Elias Berg theorem. And I wanted to make the link between uh, this theorem and the involutivity of the micro support. And this is uh, as follows. So the, the, the Gromov Elias Black theorem is uh, the following. It says that uh, um, the set of symplectic diffeomorphism of, of a symplectic manifold is closed in the set of diffeomorphism for the C0 topology. <laughs> and we can restate it in the following. And in fact, it is in quite uh, we can prove a, a local uh, statement, so we consider 
sympathetic uh, vector space uh, R2, uh, 2n, which is a standard form. And we, we consider some uh, a sequence of um, diffeomorphism phi n from some ball in E to, to E. So it is a symplectic uh, morphism, so it respects the form omega. And we assume that phi n converges to some uh, uh, diffeomorphism, phi infinity, but only in the C0 sense. Then in this case, phi infinity is also symplectic. And uh, the the proof uh, with uh, involutivity theorem is uh, not too, too difficult. Well, first, up to shrinking uh, the, the radius L, we can assume that phi n is, in fact, the time one of some uh, Hamiltonian uh, with compact support. So Hn is uh, uh, some Hamiltonian function. On the we assume that our phi n is given by the time one of, of the flow. And uh, well, of course, it is not conic. So we have to, to do the same trick as uh, Tamarkin. We, we make everything conic by uh, adding uh, one variable. So we define Ashen tilde of x t psi 2 just by uh, 2 hn of x psi mod 2. So this one is uh, homogeneous. And we can consider its flow by hn tilde and obtain uh, some uh, sheaf kn tilde on uh, r, um, r 2 n uh, times, uh, you assume I had one variable, so I have 2n plus 2, uh, well, times r, but I restrict, I restrict at, at time 1. So this is uh, k phi n tilde at time 1. Okay, um, but it's not difficult to see that, in fact, uh, because we, this variable t here uh, does not appear in uh, hn tilde, in fact, it is also the form P inverse of some Kn with Kn defined on R2n plus 1. And this Kn has the property that its micro support is mapped to the graph of phi n by the map rho, uh, the same map uh, as in uh, the marking setting. So rho of mu sub of uh, kn is our graph. For n, so this is a Lagrangian uh, subset in, uh, in uh, E square. OK, and now we define uh, a kind of limit of this Kn, but a, a stupid limit. We define uh, K infinity by, well, it is a, the quotient of the product of this Kn by the sum. And by standard uh, properties of the micro support, so the micro support is well behaved with. Uh, product uh, on sum, we find that the uh, mm, row of this of the micro support of this sheaf is contained in the graph of phi infinity. So uh, if we check that this is not empty, so assume that uh, uh, for p given in the graph of phi infinity, there so exists some uh, p tilde in the micro support uh, 
uh, which is mapped to, to P, then in this case, uh, the uh, involutivity theorem says that, uh, um, so the, the statement, well, I didn't give the statement, but the statement is that the cone uh, of uh, our micro support, so I take the cone of the micro support, I take the sympathetic orthogonal, and it is contained again in the cone. But there are two uh, natural uh, notions of cone for uh, an arbitrary set. So here, uh, Cp plus of A is the limit of all lines, or the union of all lines, uh, say Q, Q prime, on the neighborhood of P, uh, where this point Q, Q prime are in A intersected with this neighborhood. And the, the, the other one is the same, but only the limit of the lines um, P, Q prime. Okay, uh, and of course, this will contain uh, a sympathetic orthogonal of rho minus one of k infinity, and this will uh, be contained in uh, rho minus one of k infinity. So this implies that this inverse image of the graph is quite isotopic. Um, it is not difficult to see that this implies that the graph itself is quite isotopic. So since it is a graph, it, is, it will be, of course, Lagrangian. And this proves that uh, phi infinity is uh, 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 a symplectic diffeomorphism. So maybe uh, so maybe I have to say a word why this fact is true. So we have to check so that we have indeed micro support at this point, at any point of uh, of uh, of the graph. So to prove uh, to prove the fact. So just to, to give a, a quick idea, we have to avoid the following um, the following thing wi which could happen. Uh, in general, a uh, uh, limit of Lagrangian uh, subset needs has no reason to be Lagrangian because we can take, say, uh, we consider a kind of lens, say, in R2, and consider the, the uh, the normal bundle, so it is a micro support of the constant constant sheave uh, in this lens. And if you make, say, here we take radius epsilon on here height uh, epsilon square, when epsilon goes to zero, this only converges to uh, a half line over all points. So this is not Lagrangian, of course. So we have to avoid uh, this kind of uh, phenomena. And uh, to do this, uh, we make the, the following remark. So our uh, gamma infinity, so it is a subset of uh, the cotangent bundle of R2n. And if needed, I can change the coordinate so that the map from gamma infinity to, to the base is a local diffeomorphism near uh, my point. So my point uh, P. <coughs> and now I make an approximation so I have this, this approximation of gamma infinity, uh, which also graph 
this graph uh, gamma n. And, um, and if I consider uh, the same picture, but uh, in the front of my manifold with uh, one more variable, what I find is uh, a sheaf with a micro support like this. So the micro support is a uh, conormal to my lines. So here I have drawn the, the front. And it is, uh, in general, generically given by a uh, locally closed set on uh, uh, by shift constant on a locally closed set. And if I uh, restrict my shift kn to some line a x times r, so I fix a point x in the base, uh, it is not difficult to see that uh, a shift on a line is given by uh, a sum of constant shift on interval. Well, uh, at least with if k is a field. So this is a consequence of uh, Gabriel theorem. Um, so uh, wha what I want to what I want to avoid is that uh, I want to avoid the fact that the intervals have a length going to zero. And uh, this can be seen as follow. The first is first remark is I have at least one interval with an one end uh, in the red part here and one end in the green part. I mean uh, that the map gamma n, let's say, we'll call gamma n prime here the intersection of gamma n near a box with a box near uh, the graph of phi infinity on gamma n double prime the other part. So the map gamma n prime to the base is of, uh, uh, of degree one. So this implies that there exists at least one interval i with ends of i, uh, both in um, the projection of gamma n prime and the projection of uh, gamma n double prime. So the micro support is contained in two disjoint uh, sets. One set associated with this gamma n prime where I approximate gamma infinity, on uh, another set far away from gamma infinity, which is added because I made some uh, approximation. And now I can use, so there's a way to give a direct sum to de decompose the sheaf according to its micro support, which is called a cutoff lemma. So this is also given by Kashua uh, and Chapia, at least in the, in the convex case. And it can be read uh, uh, as follows. Well. Suppose you have some ball say of radius r in some vector space a k, a shift f on this ball with micro support contained in two disjoint uh, subsets. So it is contained in b times gamma 1 union gamma uh, 2, but the uh, disjoint union. So gamma 1 and gamma 2 are a closed conic subset in uh, uh, RK dual. Then I can find a smaller ball such that the restriction of F to this smaller ball is decomposed as F1 plus F2 modulo uh, locally constant sheaf where the micro support of Fi is Uh, 
uh, the micro support of F inter intersected with uh, gamma I. So this cutoff lemma says that if I, if I have a uh, decomposition of the micro support in two disjoint uh, uh, closed subsets, then uh, up to restricting everything to a smaller ball, I can also decompose my sheaf. So using this, there is no hypothesis on the cause. No, so 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 the, the first uh, yes. Um, so uh, if if the gamma uh, gamma one and gamma two are conic, co no, 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 uh, convex conic, uh, then this is uh, given in, in uh, Kashura and Shapira's book. But uh, using uh, the theorem on uh, isotopy, uh, we can extend it to to arbitrary closed subset. Uh, so the, the idea is uh, maybe very quick. Very quickly, the the, the idea. Uh, if you assume that, uh, so we can choose uh, some direction. So we are uh, R k minus one here and R here. First, assume that our two uh, sets are contained. Uh, first, assume that they are contained one in, uh, say, my variable here at t two. One in contains tau positive and the other one in tau negative. Then we can apply the projection uh, given by uh, the marking, which is convolution with a constant shift on uh, R plus. And the convolution with shift will split automatically uh, our shift. So we want, to we want to change a general uh, situation. So my gamma one, my. No, these are, these are conic sets. So I'm, I'm gamma one here and gamma two like this. So what I will do is find some Hamiltonian isotopy, which keeps gamma one fixed, and move gamma two uh, in the negative direction with respect to two. So this I can do by choosing uh, some Hamiltonian function on uh, multiplying int, uh, multiplying uh, my some uh, Bum function with uh, with t so because uh, the flow associated with t is d two, so it will move gamma two uh, to the negative direction. And phi is some uh, bump function, which is phi is zero near uh, gamma one and uh, one near uh, gamma two. Uh, no, rather, uh, not one because it need to be. Um, need to be uh, homogeneous. Okay. Um, so uh, near, uh, near the hypersurface t equals zero, this will uh, give exactly what I want. So it doesn't move uh, the base variable, and it only moves the Fabian variable, and we'll uh, uh, get to some situation like this. And uh, of course, if I move away from t equals zero, this is no longer true because I can uh, move far away from uh, from my set. This is why uh, I have to restrict to small r, small r here. And r is more or less r times the distance between uh, gamma one and gamma two. This is a, a, a rough idea. But uh, anyway, so so once we can cut our uh, sheaves uh, uh, in a ball. This means that, for example, an interval like this, which starts which start in the gamma n prime and end on gamma n double prime, has to be of length uh, bigger than this small r. Because th this interval is not split even up to locally constant shift. And, uh, and the constants here are independent of gamma n. They only depend of the approximation uh, of the box, which we give a good approximation. So we can find some interval uh, with uh, non-vanishing lines. And well, uh, well, I, at least this proves that we avoid this. So it is not difficult to, to see that. Uh, indeed, uh, this proves that 
we must have micro support uh, at uh, at the point uh, near, the, near this uh, near, near one end of the interval. So, but well, uh, so of course we uh, we have to, to prove this fact, but this is only a standard uh, uh, proposition is the theory of micro support. So the the main uh, the, the main result to 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 obtain a coma uh, in this setting is uh, the well uh, I, I write the, the theorem. But so so the, the deep result to which implies a coma Fleischberg theorem is uh, this invalidity of uh, micro support. Okay, and I have ten minutes. Okay, so I will just state another quick uh, application. So another e easy application, which looks well, looks more like like it looks like an exercise in the, uh, about. Uh, curves on, on, on the sphere. It is uh, one conjecture of Arnold, but among uh, 100 uh, conjectures about, uh, about uh, singularities of, uh, of uh, caustics and things like that. It is a uh, three cups conjecture, which is uh, the following. So we, uh, we take, we consider the sphere as two, and we consider uh, the contact manifold given by the projectivization of the cotangent bundle. So this is contact manifold. Uh, in this contact manifold, we consider the, the, the fiber over a point, over this point uh, x naught. Okay. So this is a, a circle in my uh, contact manifold. And I consider some uh, Hamiltonian, uh, no, so some contact isotopy. Of x. Okay, and um, I think that's uh, all. Uh, I, I denote by CT the, the projection of uh, the image of uh, of lambda t, where lambda t is of course the image of lambda zero. So okay. so uh, this is a curve on uh, well, it is a set on S two, and we have the, the following uh, result. When this set is a is a curve with only uh, cusp and double points. As singularities, the best. Ah, okay. uh, so I assume that uh, CT is generic. Uh, then it has at least uh, then CT has at least uh, three cusp. Uh, this was proved by uh, uh, so e for R two instead of uh, S two, it was proved by uh, uh, by Chekhanov and Pushka uh, some uh, long, long time ago uh, in um, two two thousand five. Uh, so the, the idea is to do use a radon transform to turn this lambda knot into a legendary uh, uh, knot in the t star, uh, in the jet bundle of S1. And then they, they can make a, a deep study of uh, such knot using a, a decomposition. Uh, um, sorry, I forgot how it is called. Uh, well, but Anyway, so th there is a, a proof uh, using the co contact geometry in dimension three, and uh, it is uh, 
and those are proof, and the, the idea is so as follows. Um, mm. So, of course, I will lift uh, my uh, phi t as some, uh, uh, say, phi t tilde, which is a Hamiltonian isotopy. in uh, T star S2, again uh, with the zero section removed. And uh, this one it is not only R plus homogeneous, it is R homogeneous. So uh, this means that phi t of x lambda xi is lambda phi t of x xi. So this time for all non-zero lambda, not only positive lambda. So this will uh, give you, by applying the, the theorem above, this is will give you some uh, equivalence between uh, uh, the shift with micro support uh, only uh, over one point on the shift with micro support on lambda t. But uh, since it is uh, R homogeneous, in fact, this equivalence respects the uh, duality. I mean, it commutes with the uh, with, uh, duality. And we can also see that the, the first category here has only uh, countably many simple objects. Uh, so of course I have to explain uh, simple. So simple means, uh, so we call the definition of the micro support. So, uh, uh, micro support is a closure of points where some uh, cohomology group does not vanish. And in fact, uh, Kashiwa and Shapira prove that uh, at least if the micro support is Lagrangian and smooth, uh, this non vanishing term is uh, almost well defined. <coughs> I mean that uh, in our case, so since micro support of F is a smooth Lagrangian, this uh, um, excuse me, uh, Yes, th this is well defined in the sense that if I take some other um, function uh, psi, I have an an isomorphism between the two up to some shift. A shift given by a local mass of index. So two psi is the uh, so mass of index uh, so defined by Kashima of uh, the two the three uh, natural uh, Lagrangian space that we have here. Um, so I, uh, I consider a point P in my micro support. So I have uh, the tangent space of the micro support at this point. So my micro support is smooth. I have the tangent space of the graph of my test function psi, and I have the tangent space of the vertical fiber. And when I have three uh, Lagrangian space in the cotangent bundle, uh, I have an index defined by uh, by Kishwa. And so, so this is uh, this is standard. And simple means that this is simple means that uh, it is k in some degree. Um, okay. Um, so now we can prove the so the theorem so follow from the following uh, proposition. 
assume that I have uh, an object f in my uh, category of sheets in microsupport lambda t, which is uh, simple on self-dual and with uh, odd uh, uh, Euler number. Uh, then, then I have many simple objects. So there exist. So there are more than uh, uh, cardinality of C star uh, object uh, in this uh, category, and this uh, this number in, in fact correspond to some monodromy. So I don't, well, I don't need a proof, but uh, I just make a, a picture. So th this can this can happen is in the following uh, situation. Uh, first, is, well, maybe first is the generic. If if I make a small deformation of of, um, of the fiber in uh, in the contact manifold. Uh, P2, what I get is a conormal bundle of some uh, asteroid like this. And it's not difficult to find a sheaf with microsupport uh, like this. And this sheaf is of long 2 uh, inside. And if I cut near, uh, near a cusp, it is, uh, so it is a sheaf on, uh, on a line. And it is the sum of two constant sheaf on, uh, on um, half-closed interval. And I can also cut uh, above. And I can glue, I, I can make three copies of the same picture and glue them. And then I can uh, obtain uh, a picture. Ah. <laughs> no, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Things like that. Is it okay? Yeah, it seems to work. Great. I can obtain a curve with only one cusp here, and with which a sheaf obtained by gluing uh, three copies of this one, and it will satisfy this. But if I have such a sheaf, so of course it is zero here and here, so I can also define similar sheaves by taking the tensor product with a locally constant sheaf of long one uh, uh, around this point, for example. Um, this, will me, this, will, this will give uh, many objects in my category. So, well, uh, this is not a proof, of course, but uh, so thank you. Thank you. Are there questions? Yeah. David? Do you know a group that acts on the category of sheaves that includes both uh, Hamiltonian diffeomorphisms of the cotangent bundle mm -hmm. and C0 homeomorphisms of the base manifold? Oh. No. <laughs> That's a good question, but. Uh, uh, excuse me. C C no, repeat. No, the base manifold that would induce no. No map on the cotangent bundle. Is, is there something like a discontinuous flow that could act on, or act on the category? No, I don't know. I don't know. But well, that's, that's a good question. Okay, I have a small question. When you spoke of the microlocal cut of lemma, you say you gave the example of two cones which are. Mm -hmm. Addition, but if you have one inside the other, it works also. Yes, because you you can. Uh, I mean, it doesn't have to be. Uh, I mean, something like this. Uh, yeah. You can do this. So same. you can always. So there is some uh, some space here. Yeah. So, so you, you can take a, a band function which is uh, zero one. here and which is one here, one. and it will still. Uh, it still work. Yes, okay. it will uh, work. Okay. Okay. So if the 
No other question? Then we come back in uh, 20 minutes. Thank you.